do all your testing probing, then you come up with your conclusion. And I, I said to my daughter, I'm going to use this in class, and I'm going to call it automotive science, because that's what it is. It, it's the same routine. And you know, when you have a passion for cars, and a passion for diagnostics, and you like to unravel puzzles, you're not even safe when you go to the bathroom. And I was in the bathroom, and I was washing my hands, and I went to dry them. I walk over to the one, it wouldn't work. I didn't understand why, and I'm like, I saw something different about it, and I have to show you these videos. Now, I have a little problem with, um, hold on, guys. I have to show you the videos. That's my buddy there. He, he said, I'll help you out with this one, John. I said, okay. So now I'm having trouble putting the videos into my PowerPoint, so I have no choice but to kind of like show them the real deal. But here, look at this. So here's Basil. Now you have to test the good to know what the bad is. So there he is, right? You notice how, what, what, what's actually right there? I'm going to bring that back. We'll play it again. You see the whole sensor right there? It saw movement, so the towel came out. Right? So I'm like, that's good. Now let me go test the other side. I want to see if someone can pick up through visual inspection, right? Dave said visual inspection is important. I want to see if anybody can figure this one out. The clues are all there. Wait, what's going on? A flashing hall effect? What else do you see there? I saw two things. <laughs> yeah, you see what he said? There's a red light on right there. You see that? That's a trouble code. So my visual inspection was there's something wrong that that one's doing, the other one's not doing. So by looking at that, I gotta do it one more time. By looking at that, that flashing lights to get your attention. The other lights to tell you something wrong. You know what was wrong with it? I looked deep inside, it was out of paper. It pulled on the towel and it set a trouble code and it, and it flashed a light like a check engine light. You ever misfire in a car? The first thing is get I'm your attention. my hands in there. I had to yank the whole harness down. It was in a really bad area. And basically when I pulled it down, you see right there where the corrosion is? It bit the wire in one little tiny spot. I'm like, how can it be with my Hummer? There could be like a hundred vehicles with this problem. It'd all be like a bad sensor, right? But my particular vehicle, not the 60 finals on Identifix, end up being a similar problem with a different end result. Now I have a check engine light on. Must be somewhere on my scantle. And it was an aftermarket scantle. I'm not here to beat up aftermarket scantle. I'm just telling you what happened to me. So when you have a U-code, understand that it's the computer not liking what it sees on the network. It's a U code is like, how you doing? How you doing? It's a finger pointing code. That's all it is. And the problem is with these codes, a U1002 may point to a certain module or may not.